Hi, I'm Scott, and I'm going to show you how I did a custom installation of these store-bought blinds on Dad It Yourself. Well, good morning, and today's project is these horizontal cordless blinds from Home Depot, Home Direct Decorator Collection, 42 by 64 with a two and a half inch uh, wood faux blind, and we're going to put them in this window. Well, as you can see, that window is definitely not 42 inches wide. So we had those cut down at the home center before we brought them home. And when you do that, you want to cut them about a half an inch smaller than your finished opening. So to get started today, first thing I'm going to do is clear that window out and take those vertical blinds out. So I went ahead and opened the box, just so you can see what's in here. Uh, I have a valance and some end caps if you want to do a outside installation. Here's the end cap they had to take off when they cut it to length. And then a hardware box. Here's the blinds. And I think there's, there's right there. some instructions. I always follow the instructions. So the kit comes with three brackets, but this is only 36 inches wide. We cut like literally, you know, almost half a foot off of these blinds. So I'm only going to use two brackets and I'm going to try to reuse the existing holes. And it says to install them this way, long side up. I don't know if those brackets are going to line up with those holes. We'll see. Here's the little clip that holds the valance on, and that just snaps right in. You just clip it over the back, over the top, and clip it on. Make sure you put it on the front, because the back of this, well, that one's flat, so it's easy. I've had blinds before where the front looks exactly like the back. Just make sure you know where the hole is, and that's on the front. So there's three of them on here, one at each end, and this one here in the middle. So if this works the way it's supposed to, I should be able to clip it up into the brackets and it just snaps right in. Let's try it. So you may wonder why I'm walking through Home Depot. It's because I measured wrong on these blinds and I have to bring them back to get recut. So we're gonna get that taken care of. So I'm back from the store. Let's see if this one fits now. Park it in the front. Snap it in the back. Good. And good. Because this is an interior mount on the window frame, I have to cut this to length. I've already got it marked, and this is just kind of a PVC plastic, so I can cut that with this miter saw. Like butter. So install the valance, uh, thick side up. There's a little, two little clips on each one of these and they go in this little middle channel and then this point up here grabs the top of the channel. Let's see if I can get that in there. It's a little harder than it looks. Now if you were installing this outside the window frame, you'd use one of these little corner brackets 
and then this side piece to uh, return the valance back to the wall. So blinds come in certain lengths, and this particular width comes in a 64 inch length. Well, this window is only 40 inches tall. So as you can see, I have a uh, buildup of extra uh, blinds here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those out. And what I need to figure out is where the bottom blind is that I really need. It looks like it's this one right here. So anything below this blind, I need to take off. Okay, so I've marked the slat that I need to keep, which is right here with a piece of cardboard from the packing material. And then what the instructions tell me to do, and it's really hard to see maybe, but there's a little teeny loop. There's two on the inside strings, and then there's two on the outside strings that hold the slats in place. There's two strings here. One of them is just to hold the slats in place, and then the other string, this smaller one, is actually your retraction string. Do not cut this one. This string will shoot up inside the blinds and you'll never get it out and you'll ruin your blinds. So let me uh, cut all those little loops on all the slats that I don't need anymore. So once all the little loops are cut, we can just pull out all the slats that were released. Now that we've got all the slats out of there, all these, they call them ladder cords, these little horizontal ones, we're gonna go ahead and cut those out of the way as well. So, one hint while you're cutting the ladder lines, you want to leave one, see I got one here, 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 and here, and that's going to mark where the top of this rail is going to go so you have good spacing when you close the blinds that it covers that. So don't cut that top one off. So I've got all the excess string high hanging down here now as you can see. And what you need to do is cut this about three inches longer past the bottom rail and what that is, and actually it's three inches from this end, um, underneath here, it's little buttons. And all these strings are is they're just tied in a knot and stuffed up in that hole. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these now to the three inches from below this top ladder string that I left. And that's going to be, take a measure in here somewhere, I'll tell you where it is. And this is, it can be longer. It just, I wouldn't make it any shorter. So it's about halfway between these two knots right here. So let me go ahead and cut those. I'm going to cut a little long because it doesn't hurt. Three, two. So I'm going to pop these buttons out. And these buttons do two things. They hold that string that you've knotted up inside the bottom rail. And they hold the tension cord in place. And if I pull on that, if I can get it out of there. Huh. It's coming. There it goes. There it is. And there's one. You can see all the excess comes out and we still have the tension cord on there. And I'll leave that like that. Okay, final step. It's just a matter of raising the rail up, pulling it so this knot is holding it tight against that ladder line, like here. Tying the knot in that, get under there. Okay, and then flip that over, tuck that excess inside that button, and push that button back in. So 
the total elapsed time on doing this installation was two hours. Well, that two hours included a trip back to the store to get the blinds recut and the customization of cutting this to length. That was by far the most time consuming part of doing the installation. If you don't have to cut these blinds to length, you could probably do this in 15 to 20 minutes at most. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.